we have uh, all received our BC assessment notice in the mail in the last two weeks. Well, this year's BC assessment notice, we have seen a mixed result where some of the cities like Vancouver, Richmond has actually gained in property value on average compared to the year before, while cities like Surrey has not seen much change uh, compared to the year before, and while cities like Victoria and Kelowna has seen some decline in their property values on average. Now, when we talk about condos, townhouses, and details, uh, for example, in Surrey, we have seen almost small to no change in the apartments, while the detached have seen almost a 5 to 6% decline in some of the neighborhoods. And when it comes to the townhouses, we have seen a 5 to 7% increase in some of the neighborhoods. So as I said, it's, it's a very mixed uh, BC assessment report this year. Now let's talk about what this BC assessment is. And does this reflect the current fair market value of your property? Because a lot of homeowners think that the BC assessment notice represents a fair market value of their property which is partly correct and partly incorrect. Now, what is BC Assessment? So the BC Assessment is a provincial crown corporation which assesses and values all real property in BC. So this assessment reflects the fair market value of your property as of July of prior year, which means, for example, the assessment notice that you received in January 2024, it reflects the fair market value of your property up to July 2023. The question is, has the market changed in the last six months? Absolutely. So market tends to change every 60 to 90 days based on the catalyst, based on the trends. It can be a positive or a negative trend. So for example, if we talk about last year, since July 2023, we have seen a change in interest rates, uh, which definitely affects the value of your property. We have seen a new legislation come up, which again is, is impacting the value of lots and uh, a lot of future potential seeing that. Coming out of a slow year and going into 2024, we are seeing a positive sentiment from the buyers uh, who have been holding for the last couple of years and of course waiting for that market drop to happen so based on these two factors alone the fair market value of your property has already changed so if the bc assessment notice is not reflecting the current fair market value of your property then the question is what is the purpose of getting the bc assessment uh, after all so the main purpose of the bc assessment notice is to determine how much the property owners will pay in taxes to the crown these taxes are based on the value that's reflected in your bc assessment notice so now the question is how do we know what the fair market value for a property is to find the current fair market value of your property you can either choose to hire an appraiser or you can call a realtor and most of the realtors will do that at no charge to you now why would a realtor do that for no charge well it gives them a chance to connect with you as a client and to know your real estate needs call a realtor and find out what your home's price is worth right now